Welcome, my friends, to the Game Devs of Color Expo 2020. Now, Game Devs of Color is an inclusive expo of games, and it's a conference dedicated to creating a new standard in gaming. Now, I know that the landscape of how we interact with each other has shifted over this past year, but that has not stopped us from creating an event that is as impactful as last year, because we are here to enlighten and unite. And we are open to people of all genders, ethnicities, sexual orientations, religions, and abilities. Now we have an incredible amount of content coming up for you. We have game developers. We're going to talk to you about how they develop their games and share with you tips on how you can work on your own. We have journalists and social media consultants. We're going to teach you how you can promote yourself, promote your brand, promote your games. We have game studio founders and CEOs. who are going to teach you how they built up their own studios. We have exclusive developer interviews with our very own The Purple Sharpie. She's going to show you all the good stuff from all the developers. And you're going to be able to support game creators of color by playing their games in the comfort of your very own home. And now I know that you're super hype about this. And to share that hype, we want you to use the hashtag GDOC Expo 2020. And now we're going to kick things over to the team behind GDOC. We thank them very much for what they've done. And we're going to start things off with our very own Sean Allen. Before we dive into the Game Devs of Color Expo 2020, we have to acknowledge the state of the world that we are living in right now. We are facing fascist regimes, unprecedented civil unrest, flooding, starvation, fires, and a whole lot more, all in the middle of a pandemic. And the fact that we have existed as game creators during any of the above that's been going on for a very long time takes amazing willpower. And the fact that we are here today means even more. The games industry can be hard to exist in as a marginalized person, especially. It's often directly fighting against our interests from lobbying groups that are claiming to be our, in our best interests basically trying to harm us or big companies using things like Black Lives Matter imagery to represent a harmful terror organization. There was also, you know, like the Aug Lives Matter thing. And like, yeah, you want to remember that? Like, you know, we are often seen as less than our causes are seen as jokes, but we're still here and we're pushing forward. And so whether you're making games as normal or just feeling stuck or trapped or anything in between, then I just want to let you know that we see you, we hear you, and we're here for you. And just want to let you know that making games in the face of destruction is radical. Thank you for kicking us with us one more year for the Game Does of Color Expo because it exists for you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Chris Algu, and I'm one of the organizers of this expo. This is the fifth Game Devs of Color Expo, and that's just a really nice thing to say. Five years is a big milestone, a great time to look back and look forward. Over the years, we've gone from a discussion circle to a small conference to a bigger conference, doing more and more each year. We're only able to do this thanks to our amazing staff, volunteers, contributors, sponsors, and our fantastic community. Thanks to all of you, we've been able to fly developers and speakers out from all around the world, get skilled developers of color to the Game Developers Conference, help to produce a game, and highlight an incredible group of games, developers, streamers, and creators. On our fifth anniversary, we're incredibly excited to provide $90,000 in game development grants to amazing developers in our community. More on that later. Some of you have been here with us since the beginning, some of you are checking the expo out for the first time, and a lot of you are in between. We appreciate all of you, and we're excited for you to see this year's games and talks. Learn about game development, feel inspired, connect with the community, and take all of that energy back to your own work and the projects that you want to create. While our community has grown over the years, it's also experienced loss. Please join us in a moment of silence for Jose Zambrano, who joined us last year as part of our GDC scholarship. An inspiring community member and dear friend, we are grateful for your time with us and we continue to miss you.
Thank you. I'd like to pass this presentation to GJ. Hi, everyone. I'm GJ, co-founder of The Sheep's Meow and one of the expo organizers. Since, 20, since our 2019 event, many milestones and achievements were made by our community, and we want to recognize some of them. Ethan Redd, our 2019 Humble Bundle Game Dev of Color Award recipient, released the highly anticipated Zodiac XX through Humble. Ava Carr, founder of Glitch, launched the Galaxy Fund, an unrestricted prototype grant for marginalized game developers. Alex Abukaram and their team founded SoftNet Week, a worker-owned co-op, and is developing the Charming Spirit Swap. Mitsu Kandaker and her team of industry veterans launched Glow Up Games, a company building beautifully crafted, beautifully crafted and diverse stories. They are developing Insecure, the come-up game, coming soon to mobile. This is just a snapshot of some of the excellent games released by our community, and you can catch some of them in our Steam Showcase Gradient Convergence. Our community exemplifies our mission to share stories, inspire others, and push games forward as an art form. Our organizers include Brian Carr, Brian S. Chung, Kat Small, Chris Algu, myself, and Sean Alexander Allen. They are driven, accomplished, and compassionate individuals I have the privilege of calling both colleagues and friends. Everything they do behind the scenes is thoughtful, smart, and fully dedicated towards the community. We want to thank our contributors, Asia, Imperatrice, Kat, Rochelle, Ronaldo, Allen, for working so hard alongside us, and our moderators, who are here to maintain a safe, inclusive space for, any, for everyone. If any organizers, contributors, and moderators are in chat, please let us know um, and say hi. And of course, our, our amazing hosts, Kwabana, Pofo, and Sharpie for being here with us. So many people make this event happen. Change is often the, the result of unseen work done so others can shine. We are so grateful for our team. And of course, thank you for, and thank you to our audience for allowing us to be here together. I'd like to pass the next part of our presentation off to Brian S. Chung. Hey, everyone. My name is Brian S. Chung. I'm one of the six organizers of GDOC Expo. And if you're new here, uh, let us tell you a little bit about what we're about. In an industry that can be so inhospitable, the Game Devs of Color Expo stands out. While the status quo is for conventions to create a paywall, charging developers hundreds or even thousands of dollars, denying access to many, our expo is free of charge to submit to and free of charge to exhibit at. In person, this also included provision of laptops, monitors, and headsets. And while the status quo is to have token persons of color brought on to diversify and otherwise homogenous events, our expo is different. It puts people of color of all genders front and center, not at the side. And while the status quo is for conferences to profit from speakers and panelists, but perhaps not pay them, our expo pays every last one of them. In person, we also cover travel expenses. And if it's normal to build your event on the backs of uncredited and unpaid volunteers, we do it differently. We don't let a single person work for us without getting paid. And so it's common to deny access to people who can't afford the most expensive ticket at some conferences, sometimes above two hundred uh, or $2,000. We will always have affordable tickets and we'll always provide them for free to anyone who wants them. It's still not too late to request them. Tell your friends about it. Often the status quo is for corporations to only care about you on one of the history months of the year in order to profit off of a marketing campaign. We are working on providing more and more connections and resources. For example, last year, we awarded a $15,000 award to one of our community members, Ethan Red. You'll hear more from him this weekend about the game that it enabled him to create. At the end of the event this weekend, tomorrow, there will be six game creators from our community who will each be awarded $15,000. That's right, and this bears repeating. The Game Devs of Color Expo and its partners will be awarding a total of $90,000 to marginalized creators. So if you've been on the margins and you're trying to find your place, this event is about centering you. If you're new here, you should know that this is your community and we want you to feel at home. So welcome. Hi.
I'm Kat Small, and I'm really happy that y'all are here. Uh, welcome again to the Expo, the Game Does of Color Expo 2020. I hope that you are feeling already so excited and invigorated. Um, obviously, 2020 is a really weird year. Normally, throughout the years, you know, maybe there are tiny changes in terms of uh, being a human being and what the social uh, experiment that we all live in is like. But this year was just ridiculous. And we're all figuring out how exactly to cope. And it wasn't possible to figure out how uh, drastically this year was going to affect our lives. And in March, we started having serious conversations uh, about this event and if we should cancel it or move it back or what we were going to do because it was going to be in person in July. And obviously that wasn't going to work in New York City. But we decided to keep it going because um, we've heard from all of you that this is a really important experience. It's something that brings joy and connection to your lives and ours. And so we decided to figure out how to change it to a different form. So I worked with a team to find an online experience that would suit our event, um, something that would enable us to be social and connect with each other without breathing on each other. Um, and I, with the team, analyzed over 15 tools and focused on what would enable people to connect, what would be easiest to stream without problems. And eventually we aligned on the one that you're in now, which is Spot Card. Uh, so I hope that you're enjoying the chat. Um, folks have told you to say, hey, hey, I'm in New York and it's really good to see you. Uh, this this morning. I'd love to see where you're tuning in from too. So as I said, Swap Card is set up to be social. It makes it easier for us to get the good vibes that we need, especially considering 2020. It's a time. Um, and in addition to our live stream and uh, the expo area, it's also got networking features. So make sure to say hey to either me or other cool people that you know or don't know yet if they look really awesome. You can message those folks if you are interested in potential collaboration ideas, for example, or if you like the work that they've done. Or you can also say hi to some of our sponsors if you're interested in learning about either job opportunities or other forms of connection. And of course, because this is an internet-based event, y'all know how it is, we got to do this whole code of conduct thing. It's one of my favorite things, having uh, rules. I love rules. Uh, <laughs> and so I'm going to just walk through this with y'all real quick to make sure that y'all know the lay of the land. So the Game Festival Color Expo is an inclusive space where you can safely express yourself in a respectful manner. That means all participants are vi and visitors are expected to treat each other uh, as well as staff and the general public with respect. And we expect that everyone is going to be mindful of their speech and behaviors, including refraining from assuming or judging others' identities, experiences, and preferred pronouns. No form of harassment will be tolerated, and we don't condone the use of harmful racial, ethnic, or sexual, or gender-based slurs of any kind. So in other words, be nice. <laughs> um, if you need help, uh, we are here for you. So firstly, folks, in the, the moderators in the chat, for example, are going to ask anyone who is doing unacceptable behavior to stop. And those folks are expected to comply immediately. Fingers crossed we don't have to do that, but we have a plan just in case. And anyone who violates this policy is going to get removed from the event with no refund. Not sorry. Um, and again, if you need help, either ping us, uh, you can send us a message, or, or you can go fill out our form, which is uh, at gdocexpo.com slash code of conduct. So make sure to go there, read the whole code of conduct if you would uh, like. We really would love you to do that. And uh, you can find that form on our website. And with that, I hope that you enjoy the conference. Thank you so much for coming here today. Thank you for that, Kat. I'm Brian Carr. Uh, I'm a co-organizer at the Expo. Uh, I also work at the NYU Game Center as an adjunct professor. Um, and uh, this year, uh, I was uh, working on the theme for the GDOC Expo. Um, I don't want to talk about 2020 anymore, because uh, what else is there to say about it? It, it sucks. Um, the theme this year is essentially about moving forward, uh, looking toward the future. Um, so this year, we're focused very much on like uh, slice of life, um, creating some sort of whimsy, something that's just like bring us up, uh, pick us up from this, this horrible year we're in, um, and uh, focus on games and put people of color in the forefront. Um, we focused heavily on these themes, uh, cyberpunk, anime, uh, still cool, um, slice of life, futurism, 
uh, we don't get enough of that, uh, and it's and it's uh, one of my favorite things in the world. And of course, Harlem. Harlem has been the home of the GGOC Expo for a while now. Uh, this is year five. We've uh, we would have been uh, going our fifth year, uh, probably taking up more space at the Schomburg Center, uh, which is uh, where we have um, absolutely uh, uh, had a great time uh, showcasing our two-story arcade and our speakers and just having a blast at uh, one of the uh, most, I'd say, energizing events of the year. Uh, I miss it so much, and I'm glad we're still doing it, uh, regardless of physical location. Um, we worked very uh, closely with Ariel on our designs. Uh, they have this awesome portfolio. Um, they totally understood uh, what we needed, uh, putting people of color in the forefront, creating that you know sense of whimsy, and in including, including those elements of Harlem that we truly, truly love. Um, and this is what we came up with this year. Uh, this, uh, the art is is it's it's trapper keeper esque if I if I can say. Uh, I, I love it. Um, it's fantastic. We got Harlem in the background. We got what looks like a world without climate change because you can see all the stars and the planets and uh, dice, game consoles. What looks like a special edition Steven Universe game console. That's cool. Uh, it's it's uh, going to be actually uh, available on a T-shirt as well, which you can get today. If you look through your swap card, uh, we are selling this today, uh, the pink and purple theme. And it is, again, it is available now. Um, we would like to thank all of our sponsors. Thank you to our sustaining sponsors, EA Sports, Insomniac Games, Niantic, Oculus, Prime Gaming, Riot Games, Subset Games, and Valve. Uh, also, our collaborating sponsors, Brace Yourself Games, Bungie, Firewalk, Nintendo, Playdate, Xbox, Unknown Worlds, and Unity. Thank you to all of our sponsors. We have so many. Uh, here are some more. Thank you so much for sponsoring GDOC Expo for yet the fifth year. A huge thank you to the GDOC team. We all know that this year has been trying for everybody, but you managed to come through the shining colors and you managed to create an event, which is again, as impactful, if not more so than last year's event. So thank you very much. Now we also need to give a huge thank you to our sponsors because without them, this would have been a much, much, much harder undertaking. And so now we're gonna hear some messages from some of our major sponsors, including Niantic, Oculus, Riot Games, Valve Software, Insomniac Games, and EA. And of course, because not all of our sponsors were able to submit messages, we still very much thank them for their support and we hope that they enjoy what we've created. Hello, my name is Fred Norton and I am the head of quality engineering at Niantic. You know, the company that brought you games such as Ingress, Harry Potter Wizards Unite, and this little game you may have heard of called Pokemon Go. In any case, today it is my honor to welcome you to the Game Devs of Color Expo. At Niantic, we believe in Black Lives Matter. As a matter of fact, we have a lot of uh, programs and initiatives in place that support the Black community at large, as well as the Black developer community. As a longtime Black engineer with over 20 years of industry experience, yes, 20 years, it's, it's been a long time. I would say that I have never been more excited or proud of what's going on within the black developer community today. I believe that we are making great strides in bringing our authentic self to work and that is pushing into adding diversity into the games that people are getting a chance to enjoy. I would also say, please just continue to let your light shine Never let anyone dim your light. Continue to bring your authentic self to work and please enjoy the conference. Thank you. Hey folks, how's it going? We're super excited to be sponsoring and attending Game Developers of Color Expo this year. Uh, my name is Bruce Wood and I'm a content launch manager at Oculus and I'm joined with my colleague here. Hey everybody, I'm Richard Duck. I'm also a content launch manager at Oculus. I'm excited to be here to see you create the future of VR. We have two great programs to help you do that. We have Oculus Start and Oculus Launchpad. So please check both of those out. Bruce, you wanna talk about your presentation? Yeah, I'll have a presentation here at the Expo talking a little bit about the VR ecosystem right now at Oculus. 
uh, also hopefully convincing you to get curious and uh, get involved uh, in VR game development. Uh, we need a lot more voices from a lot more perspectives. Um, so hopefully it'll uh, pique your curiosity. So we look forward to connecting with you and answering your questions and seeing you virtually around the expo this year. So it's a pleasure. We're super excited and uh, thanks for having us. Hi, my name is Shayla Lawson and I'm the Director of Diversity at Riot Games. Riot was founded in 2006 to develop, publish, and support the most player-focused games in the world. In 2009, we released our debut title, League of Legends, to worldwide acclaim. League has gone on to be one of the most played games in the world and a key driver to the explosive growth of esports. As League enters its second decade, we've continued to evolve the game while delivering new experiences to players with teamfight tactics, Legends of Ruterra, Valorant, League of Legends Wild Rift, and multiple works in progress. Riot is also expanding the world of Runeterra through multimedia projects across music, comic books, board games, and its upcoming animated series, Arcane. Founded by Brandon Beck and Mark Merrill and led by our CEO, Nicola Laurent, we're headquartered in Los Angeles and have over 2,500 rioters in over 20 offices worldwide. Riot has been featured on numerous lists, including Fortune's 100 Best Companies to Work For. We are excited to partner with Game Devs of Color this year and hope you check out our talk on the homepage banner by Nikki Lewis, our Director of Marketing for Valorant, our newest tactical shooter game, as she talks through its marketing launch strategy and great tips for indie developers. I hope you enjoy, and if you want to learn more about Riot, please feel free to check out our careers page. Hi, my name is Jane A, and I'm a game developer at Valve. We at Valve know firsthand how games can connect people. People from all over the world gather on Steam to play not just our games, but also your games. It is so important for the people who make games to be as diverse as the people who play them. We are so excited to be a first-time sponsor of Game Developers of Color Expo. We we're really looking forward to coming over to New York City to meet all of you in person, but you know, 2020 has been quite the year. Well, we wanna give a big shout out to the organizers. We see how this event is way ahead of the pack in terms of removing the barriers of entry for both speakers and attendees. And we see all the work you've put in to make sure the event is as welcoming and as accessible to as many people as possible. We at Valve also agree that game development should be as open to everyone as possible, and that inclusion should be the norm. And we as an industry should do more to make room for the voices and stories of and by people who have been excluded. So we're here as your peers to listen and learn, and we're also here to provide support for the community and other aspiring developers. Well, since I'm not in the room with you all today, um, I would like to give you my email right here. Um, please write if you just want to talk shop or if you have any questions about how it's like to work at Valve. Uh, we are always hiring, so I hope some of you watching will consider joining us to help make our games better, make Steam better, and make our hardware better. Well, that's it for me. Um, thank you so much for the opportunity and have a great conference, everyone. Hello. My name is Natasha Lee Hooker, and I work at Insomniac Games. For as long as I can remember, I have been obsessed with video games. Even growing up as a military brat, playing games allowed my father and I to spend time together while he was stationed overseas. We played games like Command & Conquer, Rainbow Six, and a ton of MMOs. Like, a ton. And I also play action-adventure and role-playing games, and with The Legend of Zelda being my favorite series of all times, all the time that I got to spend with Link and exploring Hyrule and just being in various worlds throughout all the role-playing games and action adventures I've played, I began to see that there were very few people of color as the heroes in these stories. And while growing up, I also almost never saw game developers that were black. And so it was never on my radar that being in the game industry was something that I could do. It wasn't until my sister actually graduated from college with a degree in game art and design and I was like, I can do this, that uh, I talked with my partner and we packed up our car and moved from Maryland to California. And after we were able to spend time 
out here and attending game conferences and expos, I was able to uh, build a connection with people that allowed me to showcase my talent and get a job in the game industry. And at Insomniac Games, we believe representation matters and that's why sponsoring this expo was so important because again, my own career was fostered by attending conferences and expos. And while we all know that it is, the game industry is largely dominated by white males, there have been historical contributions from people of color like Jerry Lawson, uh, Gordon Bellamy, and we're, this platform allows, you know, us to showcase that people of color do make games and are visible and because we need to fight for our visibility. So with that, I, I really feel like it's the most important thing to hold, you know, our industry accountable and to be a force for change. And as people of color uh, continue to create and tell their own authentic stories, I believe that will help shape the, the younger generation so they can, they can see what they can achieve and what they can do in the future. And at Insomnia Games, I believe we're also highlighting that we are a force for change. So I think I thank you and I hope you all have fun. Hi everyone, I'm Rob Jones, senior producer here at EA Sports. I'm excited to have this opportunity to speak to all of you during the Game Developers of Color Expo this year. 2020 has already been a year of unprecedented challenge, heartbreak, and changes. But through it all, we've seen games bring people together, even as we find ourselves socially and physically apart from each other. Simply put, games are for everyone. There are 2.6 billion gamers in this world. That's roughly one in three people on this planet. And that number is only growing. And as game creators, our talent, our games, our characters must be as diverse as the world that we live in and that we serve. So we're certainly proud to be sponsors of this event, but more importantly, we're excited to engage through the event. We believe there are unique voices to not only be heard, but also be respected and empowered. And there are differences that are not only to be recognized, but also valued. And there's a journey of inclusion in this industry that needs to be realized through continued support and through demonstrated action. And as we at EA continue collectively work to inspire the world to play, please know that we are proud and inspired by all of you, and that we look forward to continuing this journey together. Have a great conference, everyone. What's up, Game Devs of Color? My name is James Lewis, and I'm a Senior Business Development Manager with Xbox. I'm also the co-lead for Blacks at Xbox. With all the challenges of this year, it's not easy coming together for a conference, but it's necessary. The fact that we're all here points to our drive to make a difference in this industry. So over the course of this conference, let's connect. Let's encourage one another. Let's build each other up. Let's learn from one another. Let's inspire each other. Let's do the things that we need to do to continue to make a difference in this industry. Let's get it. Hello, Game Devs of Color. I'm Carlos Sanchez, Principal Program Manager here at Xbox and co-lead of Xbox Latinx. I've also been a producer in the games industry for quite some time, working on games such as Madden NFL, Destiny, and Forza. I am so excited about this year's expo. I can't wait to get my hands on the games that have been created. The unique perspective and creativity that we bring to the games industry as people of color is very valuable and very important. And so my message to you is to continue to create, continue to bring unique experiences to the industry. Because when you do, we end up with very inclusive, very diverse creative experiences that'll be very unique to the players out there. So continue to push, continue to make, can't wait to play. Hello everyone. I'm Andy Wynn from Brace Yourself Games in Vancouver, Canada. I'm the lead designer on Industries of Titan which was released in Early Access earlier this year. We've also made Crypt of the Necrodancer, Cadence of Hyrule, and coming soon to Early Access, Phantom Brigade. Brace Yourself Games has been friends of this expo for a few years now because we feel like 
it's important that we have a space to celebrate underrepresented communities and to focus on diversity. It's been a difficult year for so many reasons. That is undeniable. COVID has affected people of color and marginalized communities disproportionately. And in the last few months, we've seen so many valuable protests against injustice and systemic oppression. So what can we do? Brace Yourself Games continues to strive to be a more diverse workplace. We've been fortunate enough to be able to increase our support for this year, and we continue to look for places where we can make a difference. Let us make this conference a place to celebrate each other's victories despite a difficult and challenging year. We hope to attend the Game Devs of Color Expo for many years to come. Thank you for having us. Hi, everybody. My name is Paul Saidi, and I lead the inclusion efforts for Unity Technologies. I couldn't be happier to be here today with you all and to welcome you and also to be a sponsor of Game Devs of Color. Unity believes that the world is better with more creators in it, and that's why we're here today. The times we're living in are anything but normal, and we're facing a lot of challenges on numerous fronts. And I think one of the things that can help us through this is the sense of community, mutual investment in individual outcomes, showing up together for each other. And that's why we're here today. We hope that you have a wonderful event. We hope that you make the most of it. We hope that Unity gets to be part of that journey and that process and sponsoring you. And above all else at Unity, we believe in empathy, respect, and opportunity. And so we hope that your conference is full of that and that you have a wonderful time. And again, thank you for letting us be a sponsor. Thank you for doing the work that you do. And thank you for developing the next generation of creation in the gaming industry. What's up, everybody? My name is Claude Jerem, and I'm one of the head game designers at Firewalk Studios. We're a brand new studio based in Seattle, but for the last two years, we've been hard at work building a new, unannounced AAA multiplayer game. In fact, this is our first public event as a studio ever, but we're really excited and couldn't be more proud to be here at Game Devs of Color Expo. I've personally been coming to this event for the last three years, and it's amazing. It's something I look forward to every year but especially this year. There's just no sugarcoat in it, man. This year has been hard for all of us, but especially for us in the Black community. It's crucial for us to come together here, to be in a place where we feel safe, where we can be ourselves, talk about what we love, and be part of something bigger, bigger than our own ideas, our own projects, or even our own new companies. We're part of a movement. We're opening the doors ourselves, to show the world what we can do, to hear our stories, become immersed in experiences that can only come from minds and perspectives from people who've just been suppressed and pushed aside for far too long. And as a new and growing studio, we have a responsibility to foster a culture that respects and celebrates diversity, but also builds diversity into its foundation, into its systems. I've watched and been part of Firewalk's growth for the last year and a half. And I've seen us time and time again, make the hard and uncomfortable decisions that lead to real change. So it's time for this industry to do the work, both externally as a company, but also internally as individuals. Firewalk Studios is committed to being part of that movement, committed to continuous growth and continuous impact. I'll personally be speaking later today, and I'd love to hear from any of you today, any of you attending the event. So feel free to hit me up. We're also all hiring, so feel free to check out our website at problemmonsters.com and learn about our culture. Thanks and enjoy the show, everyone.
Thank you so much to all of our sponsors who have committed to creating a space for inclusivity within games. We applaud you and we thank you for your continued support. And again, a huge thank you to the GDOC team because we are very much excited. I mean, I am personally excited for all of you to enjoy the content that we have coming up for you. So now the tutorial is over, all right? It's time to get the show going, all right? I wanna thank you for your support and I want you to share the hype, all right? Remember, it's gonna be the hashtag GDOC Expo, all right? We have tons and tons and tons of presentations looking up for you. I am personally excited to hear about that advanced game feel. I want to know how to get games popping, all right? Keep it locked in where you got it because the show is kicking off.